What is up team? Welcome back to work and welcome back to day one of the Tempo program. This program is all about tempo style training or time under tension training. So moving slowly through all our ranges of motion, pauses, isometrics, all that fun stuff. The key here is owning every position and getting stronger in every one of those positions. We're going to start off with a full body workout for today and we have a test coming up. Let's warm up and hop into the first circuit. We're gonna start off with 10 toe touches to start. Feet pretty close together, keep a slight bend in your knee if you can't keep them straight, and you're going down, touching the toes, loosening up those hamstrings a little bit, and lower back. 10 reps, guys. What's up, Sergio? Or in the warm up. From there, we're going into three reverse lunges with a rotation. So you're going down on one knee and you're gonna to rotate towards that forward leg. Get a nice stretch in those hip flexors, a little bit in the glutes too. Three each side. Then we're going into 10 push-ups into a pike. Loosen up those arms, chest, shoulders a little bit. Set up nice tight core all the way down. Drive back up, reach overhead, keep those legs straight, let those calves get a nice stretch too. 10 reps, scene. Then we're going into 10 wide cobra push-ups. On your belly, hands on the outside of the mat, squeeze up, nice and slow back down. Leaving that lower body on the ground for 10 reps. I'm gonna hop up, we're dropping into 10 body weight squats. Feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed out a little bit, nice and slow down drive out. Think about squeezing those quads to the top, get some blood pumped in there, get them loosened up. Then we're going 10 big arm circles forward, 10 in reverse, 10 crosses. And we're going to jump into our day one test. This one was a little bit more challenging to come up with a test because most of the time we're trying to do something within a time period, increase that. This one's a little bit different. I'll explain it in one second. Ten crosses. All right, team. So. Our first circuit here, or our first test here, is a time under tension dumbbell chest press. So you can do this on the ground, or you can do this on a bench. I know we test the chest press a lot, it's just a very standardized movement that we can attack, and there's a failure point, where if we do it with lower body, it's kind of a mental fatigue thing. So, the key here is there's no, um, no time limit. We're gonna see how many reps you can do in a row, and the key here, is to be honest with yourself because we're going to be timing things here and I want you to keep track of how many reps you get. So what we're going to do, a little technique, elbows pointed at a 45 degree angle. We're going to work in a five down, five second hold, five up tempo with the dumbbell chest press. So you're going to be on your back. If you're doing it on the floor, I want you to stop just before the elbows hit the floor and hold that position. So. We're here, we're gonna go, we can start at the top. Start at the top of the one, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, hold for five. One, two, three, four, five, and then press up for five. The, what we're testing for is how many reps you can string together before either you fall off of that pacing, you need to get up faster, or you completely fail. So this is an opportunity, you probably wanna use a heavier weight because 
If you use like 10 pounders, you're just gonna be going all day type of thing, we'll run out of time. I've set aside a minute and 45. If you're going for longer than a minute and 45 for this, you probably need to buy some bigger dumbbells. Any questions team? So as many as you can get in a row without stopping, five down tempo, five pause, five up tempo, and as soon as you hit the top, you're trying to go right back into the next rep. I'm gonna use 50s on this, see how it goes. Let's start setting up. And if you're doing it on the floor, you're gonna pause those elbows right before they're on the floor so they're not resting. Anybody have any questions about the test? We good? Let's do it. We got a 10 second countdown and we got a minute 45 on the clock. Some of you may finish faster, some slower. Be honest with yourself with the tempo. Okay, the best you can. Five, three, two, one, and work. Come on. Keep working, team. Don't worry about the timer, actually. Keep going if you can. I got eight or nine. I actually lost count with my timer. I get to watch the replay back. Let's see. Slow, slow on that way up. No resting at the bottom. That hurt worse than I thought it was gonna. Especially on the way up, you get that, you just wanna go. How many you guys get? You can write in the comments if you want. Let's jump into the second circuit, team. Woo! All right, team. We got three minutes rest. So, our next circuit up. We got 50 second intervals. What'd you get, Jorge? Oh, you said something. Next circuit up, we got 50 second intervals, 25 seconds of rest, only two moves. Our tempo, our first move is a dumbbell thruster. So, dumbbells up on the shoulders. Steve, nine, nice. It takes longer than I thought, actually. So, we're going with a dumbbell thruster, which is a full squat, press overhead. Our tempo here is three down on the squat and the shoulder press. So we're going one, two, Three, one second pause, explode, press. One, two, three on the shoulder press. And then back down, one, two, three, pause for one, explode. Three down on the shoulder. And we're gonna do that for 50 seconds. And then from there, we only get 25 seconds rest. And we're going into 50 seconds of mummy sit-ups. No tempo here, but I wanna go like a one, two count on the way down. Squeeze, feel that on the way down. If you need to modify, you can go hands on your knees and crunch up, nice and slow down. Crunch, slow. 
During this program, I want to try to push a little bit heavier than you maybe would. I'm gonna try my thrusters with 30s for the first round. We'll see how it feels. I may go up to 40s though. Any questions about those two movements? We got 45 seconds of rest between each round. We good? Got a couple comments here. Andres and Steve both got nine. Nice work guys. I think I got eight or nine too. 30, all right, let's do it. Focus on that tempo. The key here is making it as hard as you possibly can on the way down and exploding on the way up. <laughs> you guys ready to work? 10 seconds team. Get those dumbbells up, resting on the shoulders. Three down, one pause, drive up. Two, one, and work. One, two, three, pause, explode, and then one, two, three, back down. Control that weight on the way down. Five seconds. Three. Keep those hands up. One. Work. Feel that core do the work. Chin off of your chest. We're attacking the midline here, which is going to make the next round of thrusters a little harder. If you guys got a little longer than a minute and 45 of work in, maybe on the next time when we hit it again again in the month, up the weight a little bit if you have that available to you. Five pounds. We got 20 seconds team. We're back to the thrusters. Three down tempo on the squat and press. One second pause in the bottom of the squat. Keep that core tight, chest up. Every second of that movement, you are owning. Five seconds, team, come on. Three, two, one. Let's work, three down. One, two, three, pause, blow. Come on. 
Get a full extension of that core at the bottom. Stretch, reach, and drive. 10 seconds. Three, one. Rest in. Woo! One more round through. Nice little break coming up. We'll be on circuit C. Ask yourself how those thrusters are feeling. If you're not struggling at all, the core should be feeling like it wants to collapse over. Try to up the weight a little bit if you can. I want you to explode out of that bottom like you got 150 pounds in your hand. We want to try to activate every muscle fiber on the way up and then control on the way down, really breaking down the muscles. 10 seconds, team, we're back to the top. Last round through, I'm sticking with the 40s. That shit was hard. Five, two, one, let's work. One, two, three. Don't rush it. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. Oh, I was hanging out for dear life in that last set. Mommy, sit up. Ten seconds, team. Five. Last round through. Three. One. Work. the exact same format 50 seconds of work 25 seconds of rest we got three movements here though our first move is a reverse lunge to upright row so the dumbbell is going to be in our right arm we're going to lunge back onto the right knee with a what do we got a three second down exploding up to an upright row and three seconds down in the upright row as well so we're here, dumbbells in my right hand, my right knee is going back, one, two, three, let that back knee kiss, explode, pull, one, two, three, reset, one, two, three, all this weight loaded on the front leg, explode, one, two, three, so that's our first move, I'm going to go 30s on, or I'm going to go 830 on that, then we got supermans, no tempo here guys, we're on our belly, Feet are together, hands are overhead, head is down. You're trying to lift your legs while they're straight up off the ground and your upper chest, creating an arch in your lower back. Pause and then nice and slow down. Pause, slow. You should feel that low back working. It's a very small movement, so you're not gonna be able to get a huge circle. It's gonna be like very, very tiny range of motion. 
Just focus all your intention on arching that low back and spilling it in these erector muscles, which are these two muscles that kind of run down the low back here. That's our second move, and as you guessed, the third move is uh, dumbbell in the left hand, left leg goes back, one, two, three, up, one, two, three. Any questions, team? We good? We got 45 seconds of rest. Let's take it, I'm gonna get my 30. Get set up. Dumbbells going in your right hand, and your right leg is going back in the lunge. Three seconds down, let that back knee kiss on the ground if you can. We want full range of motion on everything. Let's get it, 20 seconds team. Picking them up, we got five seconds. Three, two, one, and work. One, two, three, touch, drive. Drive that elbow up above the hand. Keep that dumbbell close to the body, nice and slow down. Come on, five seconds, two, one, and rest team. We're gonna go Superman's next. 25 seconds rest. We want feet together. Hands overhead with your thumb pointing towards the ceiling, a little bit of a wide position. Three, two, one, work. Hold, nice and slow down. strengthening the lower back. That same type of feel you have in your back right now is what you should feel when we're doing deadlifts. Those same muscles are getting pumped up and working. All right guys, dumbbell in the left hand. Left leg goes back. One, work. One, two, three, touch, drive. Come on. Two, one, rest team. All right, ask yourself how that round felt. Do you think you can go a little heavier? Maybe on the legs, but maybe not on the row. So, the leg part of it on the lunge is feeling a little easy for me. I'm gonna add another weight to the other hand and only upright row with the right arm and then the left arm. So I'm gonna go two thirties in each hand but only do the row with one arm until we switch. B 
Be honest with yourself. It's feeling easy. Let's push it a little bit. That's what we're here for. Eight seconds, team. We're gonna pull with the right arm. Right leg going back. Three seconds. One. Let's work. Get that weight forward. goes back left arm upright rows come on team Monday let's get after this shit start this week off right new program new week five seconds team pick it up left leg back left long arm upright rows work for one more run through. What do you got? I got a little more in me. I'm gonna go 40s. Let's do it. I ain't playing games. I'm back from the little cold last week. Sweated it out. Ready to get after it. <clears throat> sort of. <laughs> Deep breath, team, eight seconds. Last round through. Make it challenging. Pick them up. Three. Right arm, right leg. Let's work. Because we're moving slower, less reps. You can go a little heavier, maybe.
Six. Two. One. Rest. 25 Supermans. Woo! Ten seconds, team. Start setting up. Three, two, one. Let's work. Squeeze your butt. Lift. Tempos. format 50 seconds of work 25 seconds of rest three moves first move dumbbell snatch so we're working some power moves it's a little bit of combining everything now we're starting off a single dumbbell in the right hand feet in your squat stance dumbbells facing you bend those knees so the dumbbell gets just below explode up snap it overhead Nice and slow down with a two second descent. Reset. So, the snatch from the side. Chest is trying to stay vertical so you can pull. Use those legs and hips, explode, pull close to the body like an upright row, but use the momentum to take it overhead. The palm is ideally facing your head at the top. So you're not like this, you're like this. And you're going one, two down and resetting. So, you can kind of think of it like pulling the shirt up. You want to ride along that body and like pull the shirt and snap. It's kind of the mental cue that I want you to have. We're going to go 50 seconds on the right arm, 50 seconds on the left. If you struggle with the snatch, you could do a curl to press. And then nice and slow down. Let the curl down for two seconds too. Only if you don't feel comfortable with the snatch. Ideally start out a little lighter if this is a newer movement to you. I'm gonna start 30 because we've attacked the shoulders a lot. And we'll see how it feels, possibly working up to a 40. So that's our first move. Second move is the exact same thing on the left arm. Use your hips and your legs, guys. It's not all arms. And our third movement is a little bit of an anaerobic move. We're going straight to skaters. So we've got two power moves, and then we got skaters loading up on the knee, extending to the other side of your mat. You can make it a little easier by narrowing your jump. Try to stay low, hop. I'd rather have you go shorter distance and a little faster than too wide and you're taking a break and falling over. 
You can also touch the other foot behind you as a little bit of a balance cue if you want. But try to load that hip like this and explode and land on soft knees. <clears throat> 50 seconds. 45 seconds rest between rounds. Any questions, team? We got 15 seconds. Let's get after it. This is our last circuit of the day, and we're good for Monday. We'll be back tomorrow. We got an upper body workout. Five seconds, team. Snatches on the right arm. Explode up. Two second descent in three. One. Work. One. Two. Drop. Five, two, don't stop to the buzzer, and rest, team. 25 seconds. Should feel that in the shoulders, a little bit in the hips, a little bit in the legs. It's like a full body movement there. We got 10 seconds. Same thing on the other arm, run it back. Three, two, one, let's work. Get that palm facing your head at the top. Get that bicep close to the ear, straight overhead. Steve, keep that chest upright. Drive. You can pull straight up. If you lean over too much, you can't transfer force. And rest. Skaters, team. Fifty seconds. Three, two, one, let's work. Stay low, get that impact as light as you can. Drive through that hip and heel, heel the toe. Get a little narrower if you start getting tired. Five, three, two, one. Rest. Woo! Should feel that all in the glutes and your heart. Run it back two more times, team, and we are done. Come on, guys. It's Monday. I know a little low energy out there, but let's get it. I'm going to try 40s on my snatches. See how we do. Five seconds. Three. One. Let's work. Take your time.
Get that momentum from the legs. Five. Two. One. Rest. Left arm. Woo. If you find yourself using a little heavier weight, you need to use your hips and legs more. You can't just power it up with the arm. And that's what we're looking for. Eight seconds, guys. Left arm, same exact thing. Two, one, let's work. Shrug at the same time. Legs and shrug and pull. Team, one more round in us. Let's do it. Nice deep breaths. Ten seconds, team. Breathe throughout this movement. Exhale. Inhale, get ready, explode and exhale. Three, right arm snatches, one, and work.
Eight seconds. Couple more good reps. Three, one, and rest, team. Woo! Skaters, and we are out of here. Five, team. 50 seconds of work left, let's work. And go. Come on, keep that pace. 20 seconds. Make sure you guys write down the score either on your calendar, in your phone, so at the end of the month we can retest. You guys have an awesome rest of your Monday. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.